What's up everybody welcome to CRNT designers this is Chetan and in this blended tutorial we are going to create another hard surface design so without further ado let's get started to make the model we are going to use the cube so shift a add the cube and then you need to go to the orthographic view after that just move it along the z axis little bit and take it on the floor and then shift d to duplicate it and you will get another cube add there so just scale that cube along the x axis then move it along the z axis and then move it along the y axis as like this we want to use it as a cutter object then go to the edit mode select this edge and then control b and then add a bevel add a six segment bevel add there and give the proper bevel width after that you need to select both the objects and then use the boolean operation which is difference you will get something like this then create a new collection for this cutter objects and move that object to the cutter object collection okay then you can hide that then i'm going to add one more cylinder add there and this time i will go with the 24 words with that cylinder then you need to go to the edit mode select these faces and e to extrude these faces and you need to extrude these faces along the y axis so just extrude it and move it along the y axis as like this and then you can adjust its scale a little bit and you can adjust its position also. Now just you need to select both the objects and use the boolean operation difference. And then you can move that object to the cutter collection and then you can hide that. Now I will add one more cylinder add there. So shift A add the cylinder. And we will go with the 24 words and then go to top view, turn on your extra mode, select these faces and then use the insert operation. And then you can delete these faces, then select this edge loop, stop and bottom edge loop and then right click breach edge loop. You will get this hollow cylinder add there and you can scale it down and you can give the right position to create the boolean. So just scale it along the z axis and then you can select both the objects and you can use the boolean operation which is difference. Now you will get this kind of design which looks pretty well. Then you can hide that object you can play with the design as you want and you will get a different results at there so it's totally depend on your creativity how do you want to do so just move that object to the cutter collection and then hide that object that cutter object and you will get something like this then i'm going to add one more cube at there so shift a add the cube and now you need to scale it down that cube along the y axis and then give the right position to this cube at here so i want to add the strips at there to connect that cylindrical part which we have created the right now uh, to the main outer part so that's why i can create this kind of joints at there so we will do that later so you can hide it and you can keep it as it is now i will add one more cube at there and then just scale it down this cube and now you need to give the right position to this cube and then go to the edit mode create a quick block out on this cube so we can use it as a cutter object to create the details then you can select both the objects and use the boolean operation difference and then you can add this position and you can try to get the decent looking details at there then you can move that object to the cutter collection and you can hide it Then go to the modifier tab and apply all the modifiers. So you will get this kind of block out at there so we can create the right topology on it. And take the symmetry along the x axis. Then you can select the one half of the model and delete it. So we can add the mirror modifier. And then add the mirror modifier, take the symmetry along the x axis. And turn on that merging and clipping option. Now we will create the right topology on the model so that's why I just select the words and then merge them. And then select everything press M and merge by distance double words will get merged. Okay now you need to select these kind of words and try to merge them add together. And try to maintain the good cylindrical form on the model. So that's why you need to merge these words carefully. Then you can select these words, right click connect vertex path and create a path in between the words and try to create the right chord based topology. Now just select these faces and then press Ctrl I to invert that selection and press H to hide this 
part of the model then you will get only this part so we can easily work on it so just add the loop cut like this then dissolve these edges and then so use the edge slide add there and then use the knife tool and create a cut like this to connect it and select these words right click connect vertex path then one more time use the knife tool add here and then create a cut like this then just select these words and then connect them then select these words and you can see here also you need to create that loop structure so that's why you can use the knife tool and create a cut like this and now that's look good just select these words right click connect vertex path then you can select these words and then right click connect vertex path create a path in between the words after that you can select these words and then connect them then use the knife tool and create a cut like this just try to create a decent looking topology on the model so here also you need to select the words right click connect vertex path or you can use the knife tool and try to create the core based topology add a loop like this then you need to create a one loop at here also then just you need to merge these words properly and then you can see we will get the right loop structure on the model just add a few more loop cuts like this these are the supportive loop cuts so just add these kind of supportive loop cuts to maintain that structure and here we are facing the end gone so just add one loop cut and create a chord at there and then you can add a loop cuts like this then press s z and give the value 0 to make it flat along the z axis and then you can see we got a decent looking smooth mesh and now you can see we have created the right topology at there then you can add the sub modifier and increase the count up to 2 and then turn off that normal option that auto smooth option and now you can see we are getting the smooth mesh at there which looks pretty well but you can see the outer mesh it's weird we need to create the right topology for that outer mesh also so that's why you can hide the inner one and now we can start to work on the outer one means this part so that's why just shade flat it and just try to create the right topology for this part so you can use the knife tool and you can create a cut like this so just try to create the loop structure around this circular boolean it's like this and then just you need to select these words right click connect vertex path okay now use the knife tool one more time and then create a cut and create that loop structure just select these words and then right click connect vertex path and create that loop structure at there and now you can see we got that decent looking loop structure which will help us to maintain the form of the model similar kind of loop structure here you need to create for this circular shape also and then select the words right click connect vertex path and then i need to use the knife tool add here and i need to create a cut like this or i can add the words and then i can select the words right click connect vertex path and then just give the right position to that word so you can use the edge slide add there then use the knife tool and create the structure loop structure knife tool tool is very useful tool and it's improve your workflow then you can add the loop cuts like this and then select the words right click connect vertex path and here also you need to create the loop structure which will help us to maintain the form of that curve so you can see that curve structure is there for that then you can use the knife tool and you can create a cut like this and use the knife tool and create a curve structure at here also to maintain that curve form you need to create the curve structure like this and then select the words right click connect vertex path 
and now you can see that looks pretty well okay then you can use knife tool and you can create a cuts like this these are the supportive edges which will hold those details so you can see then just select these words and then merge these words and then select these words right click connect to vertex path then select these words right click connect to vertex path and just try to create the right chord based topology on the model then you can use the knife tool add here and then create a cut like this difficulty is there we are facing so just dissolve these edges and then merge these words then select these words right click connect vertex path and then create a path in between the words then here also we need to create the loop structure for the circular design so just create that loop structure so here i need to add one more loop cut like this and then select the words right click connect vertex path you can see this loop cut goes across the model so that's why we need to find out the right solution for it so just add loop cuts like this and then press SC and give the value 0 to scale it along the z-axis and you can see there are few end gons so here also we need to create the chords then add these supported loop cuts then select the words right click connect vertex path and then add one more loop cut at there then select these words right click connect vertex path and then you can add the loop cuts like this here is the end gone so you can use the knife tool and you can create a loop structure at here also then just select these words and then merge them at the center or at last then add loop cuts like this give the right position to it select the words right click connect vertex path select the words right click connect vertex path then add the loop cuts like this select these words right click connect vertex path 75% topology we have created here and now just 25% the topology is remain which you can create easily you need to understand how you can create the right loop structure on the model and you can maintain the right chord based topology on the model here i can divert this loop structure so that's why i just use the knife tool and create a cut like this and then connect these words and then here you can dissolve this age loop and you can dissolve that whole age loop at there as like this So you can see I have given the redirection to that H loop at there. And now you can see that looks pretty well. then select everything and then press alt s and you can see the model looks decent and it looks pretty well we have tried to create a decent topology on the model and we are getting the decent smooth shading on the model you can work on it a lot as much as you want just add a few loop cuts at here to create the harder edge at there and yeah you can create here the here is the end gone so just create a core based topology at there I didn't get the recording of the remaining process because my software crashed while recording so that's why I lose it so but I have few render images you can use these render images as a reference images and you can add those details easily you can do that thing so 
So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video, take care.